Good morning and welcome to another short devotional for Black Rock Baptist Church and also Morristown Baptist Church. We're again uh, continuing in our little uh, series on forgiveness and this morning we're focusing upon Colossians chapter 3 verse 13, forgive because you've been forgiven. You know, when someone hurts you deeply, forgiveness probably isn't your natural response to that. Instead, you want to hold on to that hurt and to the the bitterness toward the person that caused you that pain. But God calls us to forgive, to let go of the past and release any bitterness toward the people who have hurt you. In fact, the Bible gives us three reasons why we have to forgive. And those reasons have nothing to do with whether people deserve forgiveness or not. Number one, you must forgive those who hurt you because God has forgiven you. Colossians 3 verse 13 says, Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. If you want to be a forgiving person, you first need to accept the forgiveness of God through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God came to earth in human form uh, to forgive everything that has ever been done wrong. Jesus paid for sin so that you don't have to. That's the good news. Number two, you must forgive those who hurt you because otherwise resentment will control you. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 9 says, Only fools get angry quickly and hold a a grudge. Resentment makes us miserable, and it keeps us stuck in the past. And when we're stuck in the past, we are controlled by the past. Every time we resent something, it controls us. Are you allowing someone to hurt you? Someone that hurt you five years ago or 10 years ago or even 20 years ago? Are you allowing that to con- them to continue hurting you today? Make the choice now not to continue to be hurt by what happened years and years ago. The past is the past. You have to let it go. And then finally, you must forgive those who've hurt you because you're going to need forgiveness in the future. Matthew 6, verses 14 and 15, Jesus says, If you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgiveness is a two-way street. You cannot receive what you are not willing to give. Someone once told John Wesley, I would never forgive any person who has wronged me. Wesley replied to him, well then, sir, I hope you never sin. When hurts run deep, forgiveness is hard. But remember, you have three big reasons to forgive others. God has already forgiven you. You don't want to let resentment control you. And you will continue to need forgiveness in your life in the future. Choose to live in the freedom of forgiveness today. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Let's continue to exchange prayers daily.